Today I'm going to review uh, this outdoor wireless remote control outlet uh, made by Fossman. Um, this is the package that came in. I had opened it uh, already, so, but this is how it is here. It comes very well packaged. Came, this unit here is for two units, so I just got two remote controls. It has number one here. Both are identical. Uh, comes with a manual of sorts. You need that to figure out how to pair it. Uh, came in with this. And it comes with, in this case, two lithium uh, batteries, 2032s, one for each controller. Now what we'll do here is we'll put this here away. Okay. So there's the two remotes. Uh, we only need one. Um, because there's two units, both of these remotes or one remote can actually operate both units. You just have to pair them both to that uh, remote control. Uh, re so the, re the pairing is actually fairly simple. I'll take this off here. Now, by the way, this is a nice heavy duty. It's kind of stiff, but it's very heavy duty. Um, has an LED there. It's supposed to be waterproof. It's rated for um, 125 volts, uh, 15 amps resistive load, uh, 15 amps for general purpose load, uh, 10 amps for tungsten, 1250 watts, uh, or a half a horse uh, at 125 volts. It's a an RF transmitter. It's not an infrared, so you can be anywhere in any room and it works very well. Um, I was in the basement and um, uh, at least 40 feet. Uh, I will check to see how actually long. It's supposed to be 98 feet uh, of distance, uh, straight line of sight. Uh, we'll see how if that actually does work. Um, the other thing too is I noticed that it's uh, you can open it up. Uh, I will try to open it up and see uh, what's inside, see what the relay on there is. And basically when you plug it in, and I will plug this in here this way here, you should be able to see the uh, LED here flashing. And when it's flashing, it means it's sitting in the pair mode. Now, to pair it, we actually have to uh, put a battery in here. Now, this is fairly, a little bit difficult here to actually open. Uh, the slot is actually bigger than a normal thing here. And well, the only way you can do it is this way. Pop it down. When you put the battery, the one thing I notice is on the battery here, it says positive in the center here. And that this kind of uh, is misleading because people might think that you put the positive uh, battery towards the back like that. You don't. It just goes in and you slide it on the side and pop it in like that. Put the cover back on. There's a little arrow here. And you line it up with this part here. Now if you can see there, you can see the little arrow there. Okay. And then you should be able to just close it. All right. So if the battery's in there right, when you push this you will get the light on and if it's paired it will come on here and to turn it off you just click it on again so it's just an on off toggle that's it 
I want to off toggle. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit so we can actually see this. Okay, so to unpair it, you unplug the device. Plug it back in. It goes into flashing mode, which is in the pairing. You click this on once. You wait till it starts flashing again so that it goes into the pairing mode. Then you... So now this remote here is paired to this one and technically this is not. Oh, it's lied to me here. So something, I didn't unpair it right. Yeah, unpair it. Let's try this a little bit. Okay, so you click it on once. You wait till it goes into the pairing mode. It's now in the pairing mode, finished. It's sitting on, I turn it off. And now this one is unpaired. If I wanna reactivate this guy to this second remote, I click on this once, click it. It now is paired and it's also paired. There you go. Okay, a little bit confusing, but other than that, uh, uh, it seems to be very well built. Um, the, this is how it came in the box. The box has the uh, the uh, uh, specifications behind it. This is for two units, okay, and it's available on Amazon. And we will take it apart and see what happens. I wanted to take it apart and see what is inside and show you the, the relay that is used and what the rating is. Unfortunately, uh, it uses very specialized uh, security screws that I don't have a bit for. And I will zoom in here, but I will also include a picture of the screw uh, that I took using a microscope. Uh, and to show you what it looks like. And they have different names for it. As far as I can tell, this is most likely a T-groove, uh, or they also call it a tri-groove, or also possibly a, an uh, LNY2 uh, security type screw. And unfortunately, I do not have anything close to that uh, to take it out. So I'm not going to be able to take it apart, unfortunately, as much as I wanted to. Uh, so it is rated for for 15 amps, uh, according to uh, to their uh, specifications here. So we'll uh, I guess we'll leave it at that. If I ever get uh, to uh, come across a uh, a driver that will take that out, or if this thing fails, then I can drill them out and. Uh, I could actually um, investigate a little bit further. But for now, we're going to leave it at that. If you appreciate videos like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Kindly leave a comment if you have any questions about this review. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.